Hi, my name is Sean Olson. Today I'm going to show you how to export your facial animations from Max into the Source Engine. So to do that, you first need to set up your facial animations. I'm not going to go through the entire process, but we're going to start out with this head and we're going to apply what are called morph targets to it. So if I unhide my head here, or unisolate it, you see I have four other versions of this mesh. Now, in order to make these, you always have to make sure that all of the different morph targets have the exact same vertex count and ordering as the original. As long as that rule is set, you can do whatever you want. So in this case, you can see we have a, a standard head, a phenome, making O, and then we have some other crazy shapes. So we're going to morph this into all those and export that into source. First, we need to select our main head and we need to apply a morpher modifier. Next, I'm going to click this load multiple targets. It's going to let me choose all of the ones that I want, select them and hit load. So they're now all loaded in here. In fact, I can now hide these other ones again. And we can still get to those and see them by just changing the spinners on each one of these morph targets. So now that's pretty much ready to go into source. Next thing we want to do is open up the Wallware Model Tools floater. I'm going to pick this model. For animated models and when you're using the morpher you usually do not want to use local origin. So we're going to keep this offset from the ground up there because we would actually normally have a whole body down here. Now if we're not using Wallworm Pro we have another step. If we're using Wallworm Pro, we can actually just export this as a DMX right now with this option, and we won't have to take this current step, but I'm going to take this step to show you for those who don't have Wallworm Pro. We're going to select our head and go to Wallworm, Wallworm Model Tools, and click this More for UI. Now we're going to click this button here that says Flex Prep Selected. What that's going to do is just add an animation to all three of these tracks here. And that's required when exporting VTAs, which is the file format used in the heads. I've already exported the VTFs, but if we want the textures in, you'll click here and check all of these and export. I've already done that. Now we'll just export the model with this button here. And you see in the processing here, we have VTA models included in here. I'm going to close this. And before we actually show the model in Model Viewer, and then we're going to look at a couple things here. Notice when we select the head that the morph targets are all named by default the name of the objects that we use to create them. These names are used in the controllers. So if we open up the QC file here, we click this, you can see that it used those names as the controllers and those names are also referenced variously throughout here and that's how those names are derived and there's also another file here you see it's including a another flex and a custom what those are let me open up the model source folder here and we can I'm going to open up this flex here and you see where it named it labeled these and gave them frame numbers so that's how that works so I'm going to launch Counter-Strike Global Offensive is the game we exported this to and open the model viewer and I export it to wall worm examples and its head so we'll load model wall worm examples and head so here's our head now if we want to see the flexes we go to the flex tab and you're gonna see them all right here so here we go with the phenome with the wolfie and with the grunty. It's pretty pretty simple. Again, my name is Sean Olson. You can always learn more about me at my website, seanolson.net, and you can always get the latest version of all the Wallworm tools at wallworm.com. Please remember to subscribe and share the news about Wallworm. Thank you, and have a good day.